Well, hello everybody. I'm glad you're here. I'm Marty Whitney with Artitude Adjustment and I'd like to welcome you to the show today. We have lots to do uh, today, closing up the week uh, where we were doing autumn leaves. Now let me just get my computer so I can hear and I can see your comments. I won't hear them. So I'm glad you're here. This is, this is a Facebook Live in case you're wondering what's going on. And there here. we go. So I'm Marty Whitney with mm, Artitude Adjustment. There's just a little bit of time lapse. So let's go ahead. Let me show you some of the things that we finished yesterday. Uh, I'm just going to point this down so you can see what we finished. Um, I learned a lot. All of these have been completed with triple thick, uh, which is a deco art Americana um, gloss glaze. And I also did the other side of this pumpkin. I had some ribbon on it yesterday, but I decided we just do that. And then I have the other side, which I'm starting to do in a diagonal check. So anyway, and we'll be doing it with uh, some um, different colored bronze, orange, and cream with probably some gold uh, accents. Also, um, just so you'll see, let me explain a little bit about these so you don't have to. I took these leaves and first, if you remember, and you can go back in some of the other um, videos, which I, I have them in my YouTube library and I believe they're also in my Facebook library. This is day six, so this will be done from five, four, three, two, one, of course. And I use a Signo, a Signo broad point pen whenever I'm doing my lines on here. I go through a lot of these, so I have some on order. And I won't get them in t for, for a couple of days, I guess, because of the slowdown of um, the, t the hurricane. Um, we're still thinking of all the people in North Carolina who are suffering. So um, this, is, this is my design. I also did it on the reverse side. And you see I've got some edges here that were on the gold. I'm going to cover those up with my gold paint. And these were the maple leaves. I decided that I, these were some I didn't care for, but I still have one that I'll use for decor uh, in something. They are all um, finished with the gloss. Uh, like I said, if you don't care for the gloss, then get a matte finish. I think uh, Krylon is one that I use a lot. So. They all still need to be touched up. This is not the finishing uh, finished product. Uh, today, um, oh, I wanted to show you something too. There, what, there is an example of one that I didn't let dry be, with the, the white pen before I started the gla gloss glaze. And this is what happens, kind of smears it around. Now, what can I do about that? I'll think of something. Um, I might, well, I don't know what I'll do about it, but I still have this side that looks real good. And I've also got another maple leaf here. So lots of different ways to decorate. And this is just a little bit different than decorating with veins and um, realistic leaves. So hope you like that. And I'm going to start this week let me see there was something else I was going to talk about um, this is the acrylic gesso that I use now they come in all shapes and sizes this particular one let me see is called master's touch uh, of course it came from Hobby Lobby but I get gesso all over the place uh, I've been using gesso for over 40 years Oh, you didn't know I was 40 years old. Well, I am. So, um, this is a 16 ounce. Um, I water it down with water. This is acrylic. If it gets uh, too hard, um, 
I just put a little bit of water in it and it seems to take care of it. If that's not right, I don't know. Okay, so this is the project for, let me get this over here. I'm gonna make, make myself get in this little bitty cage and we'll put some of these in another location. Let me know if there's any interruption in our signal. I think I took care of everything. Uh, I climbed up this big tall um, cell tower and did some adjustments. Not really. <laughs> but um, today, well, we'll do this for a little while and because I want to show you some of what I've done. Um, these diagonals are done in half inches. I did have them on inch. It's way too big for this size. And what I did was measure this. You can see that these are diagonally placed one inch apart. Then I just measured over a half inch and all the way over. Then I turned and measured it the other way, one inch, one inch, and then divided that in half. Now I've, I've got some work to do on this because you want it to look kind of neat. But uh, you, if, it's, if it's, I'm gonna be using some other colors and some other, some other, um, let me see Maureen, hi there from Illinois, Jane. Jane, are you still in Shipshawana? Are you back already? Jane gets around these days. So anyway, everybody's uh, traveling around here. We're at Tiffin Motorhomes in Red Bay, Alabama, and I had the pleasure to go to a Red Bay, Alabama homecoming parade down Main Street a while ago. It was a joy, and we got to see the queen, her court, all these Corvettes, uh, the band, the wannabe band, gonna be band, and everybody. It was just ad ad adorable. And so tonight is a big game, I'm sure, for them. Red Bay <coughs> is a football Friday Night Lights town. And if you have any football spirit, you're going to be at the game tonight. Because it always proves to be a rip snort and good time. Uh, so, Jane, where are you today? Uh, uh, there's a little bit of a delay. So, when you don't answer me, I think, oh, she went away, but you didn't. Okay. So, that's all I'm going to do on that one since the paint is wet. And now I'm going to bring in my gesso. My daughter always says I say that funny. Gesso, gesso, gesso. That's just the way we say it. It's G E S S O, gesso. Uh, gesso is uh, acrylic medium and it's like a primer. I use it on everything, just about. So I'm going to open up my gesso and we'll start painting this. This is next week's project, but I always like to start on it a little bit so that you'll say, oh, I want to come back and see what she's doing there. These also are going to be diagonals, which uh, I think is going to be adorable. You, I, have a, I have another pumpkin that isn't diagonal somewhere back in Florida. Um, we are in our motor home in Red Bay, Alabama, and we are doing what you call accessorizing. That's what you do when you bring your, your motor home over here. You accessorize. So I don't know what he's doing out there. Sometimes, uh, but it's fun. And we get to see a lot of friends that we have not seen in a long time. So, I want you to just see how I'm doing this. And then if you have any questions about 
priming a paper mache pumpkin it looks way better now I only paid well it was 999 40% off of that so 360 off of that or something like that uh, I or it may have been 50% off I don't know Hobby Lobby is where you get your pumpkins these days I guess uh, actually I like to get the um, paper mache because they're easy to paint uh, I, after I do my primer then I am on the road to painting so this is what we'll be doing next week uh, if you want to get a pumpkin in the meantime that's why I'm doing this today so you can see let me see does it say what size it is no it doesn't say what size yeah 9.75 by 7.5 so that's the size of this one uh, I meant to tear this off but it's okay to do it right now <clears throat> and we'll just go let me know if you uh, if you want to get a pumpkin and paint along with me I am painting this with spiced pumpkin uh, terracotta and I do have a cream uh, I'm going to be doing um, in fact I thought about getting another cream which was a little um, not not I don't want it to be white so you know what I mean so hope you can see this okay while I'm in this I'm in this little cage so this works out fine for me just demonstrating and I love that they've got this handle that you can <laughs> hold on to I'm going to buy some leaves and I've got some wire to make a little twisty uh, like a grapevine looking thing and I'm gonna I think I'll let this dry for a little while so I can get the under uh, part of the pumpkin if you're doing any different pumpkins let me know I want to see them uh, I love to see how people do different things with pumpkins and I'm not saying this is the only pumpkin I'm going to paint this season but for right now I cannot fill up my motorhome with pumpkins I can get by with a few of them but <laughs> it might not work out for me so what are y'all doing today I mean Maureen I think I know what you're doing and I think you're gonna have a great time there might be a lot of old people but don't let them scare you you are gonna have a wonderful wonderful weekend okay so I can see where it's possible I could be interrupting right now and look at this there's a little there's a little bitty hole I don't know how that happened I don't remember seeing it before doesn't matter Oop, paint right over it so this may be one of our favorite times of the year to decorate and welcome in autumn fall and another season I wish I was up in Jane's area where they've got oh it's 73 beautiful degrees <gasps> oh my goodness I think it's 93 here it's very hot here um, it isn't as humid as it is in Florida and I know those people have really been through it <sighs> oh I hope you brought your jacket though you're gonna need it in the morning probably uh, okay we are where you can see what we're doing and why we're doing it because you just sew over something to prime it uh, it means that I won't be using as much paint and it means that my color will be even more vibrant uh, because it has a white background and 
I know this is going to be um, a nice pumpkin. Uh, I am looking this weekend for some other ideas. I'm going to a, um, a festival in Belmont, Mississippi. There are 70 vendors. And so I know I'll be seeing some new things. I'm looking forward to that. I might even be able to do a live from that area. I'm not sure what the signal's going to be. But there are some very famous country singers from around here. Uh, this is a town where Tammy Wynette was from. And if you just talk to the people here, everybody seems to have known her. At least half the people in town seems to have done her hair. Really? I'm not kidding. So... Anyway, it's a beautiful town, and Tammy Wynette is one of the stars of this town, and she comes from right up the road. And there's some other ones. I'll have to think of who they are uh, that you would recognize. This is close to the home of Fame's Recording Studios, and that's all I know. So, anyway, I'd like to hope to wish all of you a wonderful weekend. And let me see this. This is how you get to me on Facebook, but you wouldn't be here otherwise. This is Instagram, and I am so glad that you were able to find me today. And We'll be together Monday. I'll still be in Red Bay, Alabama. So please try to be here. I'll try to remind you also. Have a great weekend and have a great day. It's a great day to have a great day. See you guys later.